Hi, my name's Rich Harrington, and I literally just got in the brand new camera from GoPro, the Hero 3 Plus. Now, I ordered the black edition. This is the top of the line model, and I'm gonna do a little comparison to what I have here, which is the original Hero 3 black edition, as well as the silver. There's a bunch of marketing claims made by GoPro, and I just wanna let you know how good is this new camera. Now, we're gonna start with the unboxing, but then I will, in subsequent videos, dig a bit deeper and take a look at some of the claims. Let's get started. So, it's fresh out of the box, still sealed in plastic, and let's go through the actual unboxing. Now, with the camera themselves, actually getting it out of the box is a bit tricky. Now, I'd recommend that you start from the bottom and be a bit gentle. Don't just tear into it, even though it's tempting and it's exciting because you got the brand new camera. Go ahead and cut that apart, lift it off, and you'll actually find that there's stuff coming from the bottom side. Now, as you try to pull this off, there's gonna be tape on there. Double-sided tape, gotta love it. They put it on both sides here. There we go. And it comes off. Trust me, this camera is hard to get out of the box, and that's mainly because they're often sold in retail environments, and they don't want them easy to get out. Now, GoPro is boasting that this camera is 20% smaller, but it's still compatible with all the previous accessories, which is a claim we're gonna test. Let's go ahead and finish unwrapping this here. We have a little bit of tape on the side, and you'll see that there's actually a black arrow there. It makes it a little bit easier. And I could take that off. And lift the cube up. Now, it's tempting just to go ahead and pitch this, but it's actually a good piece of Lucite and you could store accessories in that when it's on your shelf because there's all sorts of little pieces that are really easy to lose with the GoPro. All right, now as I take this apart, you're gonna notice that it actually is attached to the lid. What you're gonna to wanna to do is come on the back side here and detach it. Now you've got some poles that you could take off and if you look at that, it's pretty much glued on to that lid. But with a little bit of pulling, you can get it off. And save this because there's actually some pieces that you need. Let's start with what's inside here. All right. All good. So what do you get? Well, some of the standard stuff you would expect. We have a USB charging cable. The good news is standard B plug, nothing particularly unique here. You can use just about any cable. This one has a GoPro logo on it, so you're probably gonna keep it but it's a standard USB cable that you can use to charge, as well as run from an external battery supply. The cable you wanna be extremely careful with, though, is this one, which is highly proprietary. You'll notice on one end, we've got a regular USB port, but here is a special connection. Well, this is designed to go into the keychain. So if we can get the keychain off here, which is a little tricky, there we go, a little bit of gentle force, and this is the GoPro remote. Now, one side is a metal tab, which is designed to be connected to your key ring. But when you wanna charge it, you have to push that lever, pull this out, don't lose this piece, and then take this highly proprietary cable and line that up, there we go, and plug it in. This is the most likely cable you're going to lose. But the good news is, is that you're not gonna to have to charge up the remote that often. And to be perfectly honest, while having the remote is nice, you can also use a phone or an iPad app, but this is a little bit quicker, a dedicated start-stop. Now, make sure you keep track of all those pieces, hence the reason why I said keep this cube around. What do we got next? Well, it wouldn't be GoPro if they didn't brand, so you're gonna have three GoPro stickers, so you can put it all over your stuff. The very small instruction manual, you're gonna pull down the better one off online, and a little bit larger here, we actually have the quick start guide and the user manual. Now this is good. I would recommend you actually take a look at the user manual. There are a lot of settings in the GoPro. We'll cover some of those on future videos. All right, going through, you see we do get a couple of mounts. Now these are the same mounts that we used to get. In fact, I've got a couple over here and you'll notice the good news, nothing has changed about the style of the mount. You can use all of your old GoPro mounts because fortunately they haven't changed these. So this is a tripod style mount, it's gonna work. This is the standard clip that comes with it. We've got the extender pieces here so we can angle this. That's the good news. Nothing new has to be bought from the mounting side. Just be careful when you remove this. You might not realize 
that there's actually a mount attached to this plate. So I'm going to turn this and disconnect. Done. And let's lift that clear. And if you look really close, there's actually a GoPro mount right there. Of course, it's blocked by this plate. So they make it a little bit tricky. You're going to want to push and pull and basically pop that out. And at this point, it's OK to break this piece if it doesn't come free. But you want to carefully remove that. So there at the bottom is actually another GoPro mount that you might have missed because it was so well integrated into the package. All right, pretty straightforward stuff. And one of the big claims is that the camera is smaller. We'll get to that in just one second. Standard adhesive mounts, a couple extra things there, the ring for the key ring, and random pieces of plastic left over from the packaging that aren't needed. All right, let's get to that camera size. They claim that the camera is 20% smaller. Well, if you put the two cases side by side, you definitely see that. Looking at them from the side there, you could see less plastic, a little less rounded on the corners, harder angles here. Still, we have the same buttons, buttons up top here for starting the camera, buttons on the side for triggering Wi-Fi, buttons on the front for triggering power. Still have a protective coating, but you're going to notice as we sort of put those side by side, one case is smaller than the other. Here's the deal. The case is smaller. The camera, not so much. This is good. It means that when you're putting it in the case, it's well protected, and you could order this new case for your old camera. So if you were just excited about having a smaller camera profile, all you got to do is order a new case. You don't actually have to get a new camera. I'm going to prove that to you. Let's go ahead and remove this. Typically, GoPro camera cases are a little tricky. We tend to have random pushes and pulls. Let's see if we can get this one open. There we go. Lifts up and then clear. You see there, a little bit of a different style hinge compared to the double latching system of before. We used to have two releases. This one looks actually a little easier to open. I'm not sure that's a good thing. But if we open this up, let's do a check. So I've got the older style GoPro case here from the GoPro Black. Three, the previous edition released about a year ago, and I've got the newer case here with the GoPro Black 3 Plus. Let's open that up, take out the camera, and do a switch. Well, fits right in. There you go. And you can see it fits in there. Now, I have the extended back on here, which is designed to hold an accessory. So let's see if one of those accessories fits. This is the larger oversized case, and it's specifically designed for, say, the monitor back here. So I'll connect that. We'll just take that there, connect the edge, drop it in. Still fits. Let's take the new case and the previous edition of the GoPro 3 Black. Now I'll take the lens cap off because it's not going to fit in the case with that on there, but let's just remove that. Drop that in, fits, close, and lock. Well, I've put the Hero 3 Black Edition in the 3 Plus case and the 3 Plus camera in the previous case. So I think I have definitively proven that the only thing different here when it comes to size is the case. Now, Fortunately, that wasn't the only marketing bullet that they put out there. There are some differences. Let's go ahead and just swap this back and we'll get the black 3 plus camera out of its case. So we'll put that there. Let's pop this out as well. There we go. Great news there. Accessory fits just fine. The power pack here clips on, mounts just fine, works. Let's go ahead and swap out a battery for a second. Pop that open, and I'll take both a GoPro and a third-party battery. Line that up, drop it in, absolutely fits. Pull that out, pop in the new one. There we go, still fits. So third-party and GoPro batteries do fit. Let's power that on a little bit. There we go, power's on. Let's pop that battery out, check a third party battery, line that up, 
works as well. So nothing has really changed there on the battery front. So if you're like me and you have 15, 20 of these, it's going to work. It's also going to work with the external battery packs that you would charge a cell phone with. So that's the good news. A few minor aesthetic differences as you're looking at those. You'll notice now that the power button is actually recessed. So you can sort of feel where that is by touch rather than just being printed. So you'll notice there a little bit more audio pickup, better built-in microphone quality, although I'd hardly call it great. We look at it from the sides there. There's still a mic, but now there's a second one there as opposed to just the original one. Still have our buttons. Nothing really different on the bottom. And let's take a look at the side ports. Good news, everything's really the same there. So we've got the ability to connect USB, the micro HDMI, and of course the SDXC micro SD card. So all of those are the same. So what have we seen here? Well. Quite bluntly, there is no real physical difference between the cameras that's easy to see. If we put these all side by side, they are essentially exactly the same. There's a silver, a black, and a black 3 plus. Now if we look at the lenses, pretty similar. We had a previous notch up here for some accessories, that's now gone. The lens itself is supposed to be improved. GoPro is claiming about 20% better sharpness on the lens. I am going to put that to test and I'm going to take these cameras out and do a little bit of shooting with them and I'll show you those results a little bit later. But all in all, what I see here is a camera that has the internals improved but externally is essentially exactly the same. So let's just put those side by side. I've got my three black, my three silver, and my three plus. And I'm going to go ahead and head out and put the Black 3 and the Black 3 Plus head to head, shooting some of the same scenes. With the better sensor and the better lens quality, I'm expecting to get some better results. But the good news is, is I don't have to start over. So all my GoPro accessories are going to work. And remember, that's the good news. If you've been a previous GoPro customer in the past, you're pretty used to, with each new version, having to start over. But as I've definitively shown you, the batteries, the cases, the mounts, everything is exactly the same. The only thing upgraded is the inside of the camera, and we're going to check that out next.